This video is an introduction to Hue.net for the .NET Framework and .NET Microframework. The Hue.net library will simply let you control a Philips Hue lighting system without needing to know about JSON, HTTP requests, and the underlying raw and hidden Hue Hub API. Here we see a simple solution with a simple test project. We also see the Hue.net project, but in your usage you'll simply have a Hue.net assembly reference in your project. First we need to compose a hash of your choosing to use in most of your Hue Hub calls. Next, we see how you can use the IP address method from the Hue static class to search for and retrieve the Hue Hub IP address on your network. Next, we will see how to make calls to the Hue Hub to query for some basic description information. We can use some of the helper methods that make it easy to retrieve Hue Hub information such as model name, model description, version, model number, serial number, and UDN. Next, we can call the register method with your hash. You only need to call this method one time and must first press the sync button on your Hue Hub for this call to return true. You can see that I didn't press the sync button and it returned false, which doesn't matter in our case since I had previously registered with the Hue Hub using the above hash and pressing the sync button. Next, we make another call to the Hue Hub to get its configuration information, which requires you to pass the registered hash. Here we see that the call returns all of the lighting information in a JSON format. Again, Hue.net provides helper methods. The first helper method returns a collection of light objects that represents each light bulb. Now that you have each light bulb object, you can access its properties such as name, position number, model ID, brightness, color temperature, and color coordinates. Each light object also has helper methods for setting the brightness, flashing, and turning the colors to red, green, blue, orange, red, and white. You can also set your own colors by setting a light object's properties and then calling its save method. This concludes our first quick video on Hue.net. Hue.net MF for the .NET Micro Framework functions pretty much the same way. You can see that the Hue.net MF has been used on one of our Kickstarter projects using the link below. Thank you and enjoy the rest of this video.